This is episode 21 of The Quest Company. Previously on The Quest Company. The chubby gnome. Holly, are you feeling better? Yeah, about a minute passed and I could see again. Oh, that's so nice. I was looking for a map. All right. It's one map of three hot. It's going to cost you (laughs) 25 gold. Hey, uh, can I heal you? I don't, I've been healed before, I think, and it's just normal things. Um, you do are able to read one of the two pieces of paper that seems to have survived about the week that you guys were in Dagger Point. Uh-huh. Um, and it's just titled Goblins on the South Road. To get down to Aldport, it'd probably take you half a day. Well, if not three quarters, depending on weather. Then you feel almost, uh, like breath on the back of your ear. Like right in the back of your neck, you just hear. <laughs> Why? You look up at the stairs, and you see a figure standing on the stairs. Its body, its mass, almost blowing in the breeze. Why? I had to do it. You know what? We should find Zara. I'm sorry. No. I, I, uh, uh, you go, you go. I, 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 I'm just real awkward. Anyway, I'm. Wh- and I'm just gonna kind of give her a pat on the shoulder. Oh, cool. All right, let's go ask Anton if we can like crash in either the barracks or like a I don't know. Yeah. Guest I mean, I think he has like free lodging. Eight yeah. Room, so you know, five of us. Ding dong. Yeah. Ding dong. <laughs> and we're back. Zaha, Damn, wow. son, where'd you find this? <coughs> that was just terrifying. It's been so long. By the way. It has been so long, yeah. so. That's like, yeah. Yeah. Joe Cash and I got married. Yeah. yeah. It's true. It's true. Aww. Joe's it got married. married. <laughs> Sarah and I were doing importance of being earnest. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's great stuff. It was, yeah, we, were just, we were just playing along, it. I guess. Yeah. It's true. It's Bob's true. Burgers is a great show, guys. Yeah, it is. Sponsor oh us, Bob's Burgers. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Well, I don't know if that's I possible. That, I think that one's the one where we get... Yeah. That one's that's the one. The, um, we go too far. We get we've trash made. pizza places all we want. A oh, no, I just wanted them this. Oh. Weave for me, please. Whoa. I need it. Dreams. Okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa. This is getting so true. I'm, like, oh, connected. Yeah, so, now, hold on. Somebody's going to get slapped. I can't use sexy voice. You guys, as a group, collectively are walking into Anton's uh, palace. This palace in, um, well, palace, let's rephrase. The uh, largest structure in um, Crestport. Um, again, you re-enter this room. It's a very simple uh, throne room. Uh, there is no one currently in there. Um, it's very quiet. What do you guys like to do? Mm-hmm. Hello? A hello, hello, hello echoes throughout kind of the main mm. hall area. You recall the um, upstairs room where Anton uh, had been working earlier when you met him. Yes, mm-hmm. in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, Tabitha's just heading up there. Okay. Um, I, I, Tabitha's making her way. Just going to follow. Um, Corn's following. Everyone else I'm is following. following. I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you make your way up, Tabitha, and the first thing you know... This mustache hair is killing me right now. Um, it's terrible. Anywho, um, you make your way up, and uh, you arrive at his door. It's open. You see him like feverishly at work over one of his tables. Um, Damn, the dude just doesn't sleep. Looking over papers, it, it, probably trying to figure out uh, troop movements of his own people and trying to figure out how to catch up after a week of mm. mm-hmm. everyone being out. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of stuff happens. Oh, wait, he was asleep. Um, but you just see him ruffling through that. Trying to figure out a way to get rid of me? Oh, I would never do that. And he just seems very, uh... Okay. Uh, off guard instantly, but kind of catches back into it. Um, Corn salutes, salutes and... Yeah. Sorry to bug you again. I'm sure you got a lot of stuff to do. No, please. I, uh, I ask you all to, uh, help me. Uh, whatever you need, I can do. I can, I can help. Uh, Rourke immediately, like, as soon as he get, gets in the room, like, goes to the table, uh, unfurls his map and starts, like, comparing his map to Anton's. Okay. Um, Anton's map is just more detailed. Yeah. Uh, not in, like, yours is the rudimentary, like, I'm traveling map. Um, 
I know that this place is south and I know which roads kind of lead to it. Right. Anton's is more like uh, you're able to see like geographic, like how big things are to scale a little bit as opposed to like mountain range, which would be like some triangles. Right. You actually see like, okay, this is how wide those are. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Cool. Um, but you're looking over that currently. Yeah. Uh, any intent with that? Uh, just trying to figure out what's going to be the most efficient thing for us. Okay. Uh, like as far as travel routes. Go ahead and make an investigation check. Okay. Anything else anyone wants to be doing? Maybe just ask him about the voucher thing. Do you want to do that or should I? Oh, uh, we um, needed a place to stay tonight. I wouldn't be opposed to staying here, but I think <laughs> we wouldn't all yeah. fit. Yeah. <laughs> So no worries, and he uh, he heads over to the table and writes um, just on a piece of paper and hands it to you. And this is a voucher for the uh, any port. Uh, they'll take care of you. It'll be free rooms. Don't worry about it. Okay. When Thank she you. takes it, wow. and her fingers kind of overlap his. <laughs> oh. uh, go, ahead and make a, go ahead and make a go ahead and make a sleight of hand check. Wow, so bold. No one see the sensual sensual. Wow, we gotta be sensual. We'll, we'll, we'll find out in that. a sec. <laughs> he just like, crushes his hand. And, like, <laughs> and here we are. It's a ten. A ten? Uh, sure, it wasn't that difficult. It wasn't meant to be slight. It was an no, 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 intentional. I, I was just saying to like be dexterous enough oh, to like no. be perfect no. and like. Yeah, sure. no, no, I mean it's it's fine. It wasn't a difficult like move. No nope. like, <laughs> yeah. um, maneuver. It was honestly. Almost Frank, an go ahead and make a perception check since you're the one that wanted to roll for it. <laughs> um, uh, a ten. A ten. Ooh. Uh, it it just looked like she took the thing. Oh, cool. Because um, she pretty much just took the thing. No. Okay. Andrew, do I get to use proficiency for that because it's navigator's tools? Do you have navigator's tools? I mean, like, yes, I do. I, and I have the proficiency. Okay, sweet. So uh, stuff. Then you can go ahead and add your proficiency so to it. So that was it. a 16. A 16? Okay. Um, wha- what are you trying to discern? Like, what the best... First of all, if going by sea will actually save us any time as opposed to by land, and also if it's faster to Emberstone or Aldlinto. Mm. Okay. Um, with your 16, uh, the, the place where you had originally decided to dock, or dock the boats, Yeah. this area right here is not a river. It doesn't continue. It doesn't cut to the mainland, so you right. can't sail and port to... Old Lento. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so you would have to anchor or beach the ship at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, if you took the ship, however, and... Uh, uh, da, 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 da. That's what that is. If you took the ship and you um, uh, docked it at Old Port, which mm-hmm. is a small port town in uh, Lento, uh-huh. uh, then uh, it would maybe save you a day on the overall trip like to mm-hmm. that area. All right. Um, like a day, day and a half, two days, yeah. somewhere in that range, depending yeah. on lots of variables that you know, like yes. right. what your weather is, yeah. what anything, if you encounter anything. She's a fickle lady. That, that she is. Um, the the path to either Emberstone or Ald Linto mm-hmm. roughly, roughly ends up about being the same time to mm-hmm. get to them. Okay. Um, you do notice on his map, Mm-hmm. A small cut through, uh, a road that cuts through the mountains between those two points. Uh huh. Um, which would, if Near you Red were. Redwater? Yes. If you were, it goes through Redwater and um, cuts through the. Um, what did that? That's what it is. Uh, the Red Slopes, which is what that mountain range is. Gotcha. Um, it cuts through that and travels to the uh, east uh, across the Alder Plains to Aldlinto itself. Um, if you were to go that way, if you did it through Ald Lento to Emberstone, um, I mean, it's the same path just to the west. Gotcha. Uh, it basically creates a large circle or oval um, mm-hmm. that re meets back up at the city or this small town called Brownwater to the south of Crestport. Mm, great. Mm-hmm. Um, the travel time to both is similar. Mm hmm. If you wanted to go to one, then go back north, then come back down, that's where that trip can get very drastically yeah. um, longer. Yeah. longer. But if you were like, I feel comfortable with what one of these cities gives me, mm-hmm. um, and I feel confident in that that is enough to turn the tides in something or to take back Dagger Point or whatever, gotcha. um, 
you could not worry about the other one or bypass it. Cool. Um, with the overarching goal of... I'm moving my chair, everyone. Um, with the overarching goal of finding or uniting everyone. Yeah. But you have this one little speed bump, which is dagger point, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. in the way. That whole thing. Um, anywho. If it's a thing. That's what you get with, like, your 16. Great. Great. Love it. Love it, love it. Um, well, Rourke. Yeah, what you thinking? All right, looking at the map, it looks like it'll be about the same either way if we go by land to either Old Linto or Emberstone. Hmm. Uh, I know we talked about taking the ship, but I don't think it's going to save us that much time in the long run, especially if we're getting held responsible for using somebody else's ship and we have to hmm. port it who knows where. I'd like to propose uh, getting a beer and talking about it and getting out of your, your hair, my lord. Please, it doesn't bother me. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah! That's pretty good. We can send just one of us back later to get the details for you and what exactly we'll require in the morning. Okay. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Right. See ya. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hang back for a second. Peace and booty grease. Okay, as everyone uh, awkward... <laughs> <laughs> huh? As everyone awkwardly exits uh, uh. Anton's room, uh, Tabitha stays behind a little bit. I'm going to take out my dagger and just <gasps> point it at him. <gasps> okay. Uh. <laughs> and I'm going to just take one of my little braids and oh. cut it. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to place it in front of him, just in case. And then I'm walking out. Okay, he, he looks at it and looks back up to you as you walk away. No words, but the gesture is very much accepted. Um, For cloning, I like it. Correct. That's what I was thinking, too. Mm. <laughs> You've just ruined everything. Um, no. <laughs> Maybe it's like a weird sperm bank thing in this world, where it's like, he has his sperms, but now that we have our DNA, little mini versions of them will now be... <laughs> Wait, so you're just talking about like jet, like regular procreation? I think so. <laughs> Little but versions like, of them, like children? No, 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 no. Because Or just it... midgets. <laughs> like I'm sorry, really like small, small tabby. Hey, 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 no. No, I'm mean, no, sorry. Yes. Small toe. That's, oh my god, small toe origin story. Well, let's not be racist, everyone. Okay. Yeah. No, what I mean is... To Polly. <laughs> because in this world... Haven't uh, you offended gnomes enough? today uh. <laughs> in this world like Tabitha would have to carry the baby okay right, right to have it be both of them but maybe in this world you just need a woman's little like and like his little <laughs> and then they can just like shake it up and then, wait are you, are you saying that no one's gonna be carrying this yeah, child yeah no one carries it maybe boom. there's like a Explosion new thing where child. it's like boom and next time we come to this castle there's lots of mini versions of them running around Through it's, it's a good question for the DM can I roll for nature <laughs> to like discern I'm sorry nature check. Corin, please roll a nature this check this is all just I, a no, side track Sarah idea. please roll a nature check as well <laughs> I don't think she knows where babies come that's from. a natural okay. one that's a natural <laughs> good thing I was out of character yeah good thing <laughs> Corin's like yeah I know that's, that's how babies that's how I was born. Um, I definitely don't also, have I, grandkids. I don't know if she said any of this aloud. No, no, no. I don't think it was. 18. We're just goofing. Uh, yeah, no. Babies uh, are normal. <laughs> darn it! <laughs> babies, okay. all of that is, uh, is all that is normal. All that's normal. That's darn how it. We all right. Well, sorry to uh, sorry to have that dream for your are world. We, uh, are we sorry. boozing? Are we uh, happy hour in? Yes. Uh, Great. The party makes its way. Um, you guys exit the, the palace. Walk back through its large courtyards, uh, re-enter the town of Crestport. Uh, you see the sun setting. Uh, you know it's a beautiful sunset mm-hmm. over the water. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, you make your way to the western part of the town, um, and oh, excuse me, the southern part of the town. My map's all upside down. Um, the southern part of the town, where you find the inn that you stayed in the previous night, um, that Cedron had led you to. Um, much more lively now because uh, <laughs> their people are awake. <laughs> um, Is but it the same people? Like they just woke up and kept drinking? R- roll perception check <laughs> when you uh, enter the uh, into the bar. <laughs> That's a 17. Um, you see several of the same people that just are just are still there. A lot of the people are a lot of the people from around the town that probably yeah. just needed a drink as this is their first day, yeah. first Reasonable. night back. Um, <laughs> I yeah. But it could be a reason for why it is so crowded sure, sure. right now. Um, 
But anywho, it's much more lively. People getting drinks uh, and having fun, lively conversation. Um, you guys enter uh, behind the counter of this uh, two two floor establishment. You see a small uh, red headed kind of portly woman. It's red hair. I already said that, but she's a dwarf. Um, and uh, a little bit of Scottish there, just to say dwarf, because uh, all dwarves are Scottish. Sure. Um, who's offending who? Come on now. Uh, it's just that's just it's all just fantasy a- ever. <laughs> all right, all right. No, um, thanks, Gimli. Uh, but uh, you, you just, clearly the bartender passing out drinks. Mm. Um, and what'd you guys like to do? Is there enough space at the bar for us all to kind of... Oh, yeah. I mean, there's, there's enough room. It's a large establishment. Do you guys want a booth or uh, the bar? Or... I'm already oh, I could be sitting down at the bar. Oh, oh well, I we're at the bar. I like the, re- I like the all right, relaxing all right, nature of a booth. I get up, I get up, I get up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I mean, I like the, just the relaxing nature of a booth, you know? Well, I'm, I'm nice sitting leather seat. I'm at a booth now. Welcome to Chili's. <laughs> we, can, we can face each other in a booth. Yeah. yeah. I'll get you something. Don't I'm worry. sorry. The bar is seat yourself. Booth, you're going to have to win. No, I'm just kidding. I just imagine her like, hopping up to the bar like a kid. We have a voucher. Can we get a booth? Okay, great. I have the voucher. You you want a mead? You guys are homeless. Like a a mead, a beer, a whiskey, a mead with raspberry, or... Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. All right. I think that's called a King's Cup. A King's Cup. Got it. Sorry, Nigel Tavern. That booth. God damn it. We're at the booth. I know, I know, Uh, I know. Yeah, but Frank told everyone he wanted Uh, to be in the bar, or the booth, and then went to the bar. bar. (laughs) He's a master of reverse psychology. Uh, Um, So... Yeah, I, I guess. I'll go. I'll go get the drinks. But, yeah, yeah. Oh, and gosh. show her the voucher. Great. And all the okay, so everybody's in this rather large booth. Yeah. That's one. The one really big booth. Yeah. That exists yeah. in yeah. This it's like the corner. Welcome to Johnny Rebels. It's the corner. It's the corner circle. Frank is taking up as much room as he possibly can with his tiny little skinny body, and the rest of us are on the other side. Is there any little like knickknacks on the walls and stuff like that? Flare. There is. There's not flare on the walls. Darn it. There's the occasional like. Like no painting or whatever. No, but. no, the, stuff with, the place with the stuff on the walls is shenanigans. You say shenanigans uh, one more time and I'll pistol with you. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Frank, go ahead and roll an intimidation check. Whoa. Okay, okay, all right. That's a. <laughs> wow. Um, is, uh, wh- this is called for existing. Where is this? <laughs> where, where is this? There it is. It's a new career. Um, tw- 21. <laughs> 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 nice. Okie dokie. Just Frank, the second, you, the second you walk in. <laughs> Silent, <laughs> like everything kind of like quiets down pretty fast. Um, uh, Frank's fine, he's cool, don't worry. Dude, and you guys uh, make your way to the booth, it's, <laughs> it's like everyone just kind of watches. I'm just trying to sit, I'm standing, he's like standing there, what's the thing about what's the thing? He's like, um, you guys like liquor? <laughs> yeah! yeah, that's why you're at a bar. Yeah. No right. bones about it. And then uh, stuff kind of picks back up into being normal. A few <laughs> people, a few people still watch you, but I'll kind of wave at them if I see them. Like hey. <laughs> they look away pretty quick, and then kind of <laughs> try, try like side eye to like still watch the the dude. Try to be kind. Hey, don't be afraid of me. Um. But anyway, you guys find your booth, Frank. You take up as much room in the booth as possible. <laughs> Everything you touch on the leather seats becomes <laughs> oh, moist. Nice. And leather. Yeah. <laughs> sure, it's going to be a nice booth. Let's make it happen. Oh. It's, it's a really <laughs> sweet booth. <laughs> it's chilly. I'm thinking like McNamara. <laughs> oh, like chilies. Yeah, okay. yeah like <laughs> chili. We got the corner booth. I mean, we can put any junk we want in the corner spot because you can hold all the junk, like purses and junk. I go to the bar. Hands. Like, I put my sword on the corner spot. Sweet. Or my Warhammer. My bad. <laughs> I'm going to the bar with Tabitha because I want to ask about the, the bounty thing. Okay. Uh, also, there's a lot of drinks. True. Tabitha, uh, leading the way, Rourke following, uh, make your way to the bars. Mm-hmm. Um, this portly um, dwarf lady. Oh, what can I get you, dear? Hi. I, uh, we have this from Anton for a room. Preferably two rooms. Uh, she takes from you and opens it up and reads over it. Uh, just doesn't read very long of this like letter that he actually wrote. I tends to do this. Uh, no worries, yeah. you can have the room free. Uh, I assume you're the ones that we have to thank for uh, being awake and alert. Oh well, yes. And for that, my I have ten meads, four bottles of wine, <laughs> and three scotches. Her eyes, bottles. her eyes light up a little bit. 
a woman that knows how to drink, all right. Uh, <laughs> and she actually like pulls it up and just Holy hands shit. it over to you. I would like to take one of the bottles and put it in the bubbies. <laughs> yes. And she gives you a wink and says, a woman that knows how to drink. <laughs> I don't and know why then... she had like puberty going on, but whatever. <laughs> and then I'm just going to kind of like scuttle over. The <laughs> You're grabbing all the rest of that? Yeah. I'll grab the other oh, two bottles. Oh, do you need bottles. a hand? No. I'll grab I the other two it. bottles. So what all are you carrying? You have a bottle of wine between your boobs. Yeah. Two more. Three bottles of wine. Okay. Red. Yeah, ten meads. It's a dry red. Ten meads? No, so that's like sweet. mugs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then three scotches. It's all going on the ground. <laughs> make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, please. Can I make another one to try oh, to get no. over there and get one in case it drops? What? I'm, we'll see. Oh, we'll see. What does it mean if I'm proficient in those? That means you add your two to it right now. Twelve? A twelve? Yeah. I would like to yep. see yeah. her drop it because I'm right next to her. You don't know that she's going to drop it. Thanks, if guys. She does, Thanks if she for the looks confidence. unsteady with all ten. Well, I definitely, if I would have been paying attention at all, I would have seen the insane amount of alcohol being accrued on the bar. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, what did you roll? Is I rolled a ten a dex. for dex, but okay. yeah, if I'm already on my way, I food. hope that this is not going to be awful. A seventeen dex. A seventeen Tabitha, you are able to carry all of this yeah. as you take like the third step. One bottle just out of your arms. You see Corin dive in full plate nail oh, no. and just <laughs> hit the ground like <laughs> like <laughs> not very far. <laughs> um, and oh, Rourke's tail wraps around the bottle before it hits the ground. Ooh. Nice, uh, nice, nice. And that is the only one you're getting. And, and you make back. the rest to the table. Yeah. I stand up and I say, "Watch out! There's like a uh, there's like a plank loose or something." <laughs> and I there was a demon there. on the floor. I, like... I slayed him. There was a dog barking. I, it's gone now. Don't worry. Oh, I'll hand Cor in one of the memes. <laughs> oh, my, wait. Uh, oh, great. Thank you. But he's definitely eyeing the scotch. Yeah. <laughs> Frank's eyeing it all. Poor Frank. Uh, yeah. You got a lot to drink, especially accounting that Frank's not drinking. I forgot you can. <laughs> you can pour it on the booth. How did you do Are we all back up to pour oh, no, it on his I, I'm going back up to the bar. I, I got Rourke, the you, you just still have it in your tail right now, unless yeah. you want to walk away and put it down, but I assumed you could just No, it's it. just going to stay there for a it's second. Sweet. It's cool. Um, wow. Great. So I'll walk up uh, back up to the bar. I say, tail um, wine. Tail wine. Uh, it was not a wine. Was it a wine? I oh, think no. so. Oh, you dropped the bottle of wine. Dang it. Okay. He said, "Wait, was it a sweet red?" Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> They're all enough. sweet reds. Okay, great. Um, so I walk up back up to the bar. I said, "I don't um, serve white wine at my establishment." Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm sorry. What was your name? Oh, my name is Marigold. Marigold. Uh, I'm Rourke. Um, it's nice to meet you. Nice. You're a bit terrifying, but you know who am I to judge? Oh, uh, well, you know what happens. I like uh, the hair color, though. Same to you, Marigold. Yeah, I think you and she flips her hair around a little bit. Go, Marigold, go. Um, uh. I, had, I had a question for you, uh, Miss Marigold. I saw when I was walking around town earlier today a sort of uh, bounty bard, I suppose. There was something about uh, some goblins in the area. Yes. Yes, uh, I usually handle uh, uh, some of the local bounties just through here, uh, patrons of mine. Right. Um... If you want to talk to uh, the man that issued that, you can talk to that fella back there. And she points to the dude, uh, Aragorning, in the back corner, nice. uh, who is currently eyeing Frank, um, one of the people that hasn't stopped. Every time you've looked at him, Frank, though, he hasn't looked away. He's just, like, staring at you. Can I continue to stare at him, then? Sweet, yeah. <laughs> Frank is in a staring contest with this dude. He's Dude's probably going to lose. I look back at <laughs> um, him. Frank doesn't it. believe uh, you don't have eyes. That looks about right. Um, Do you? Um, no. Okay. But uh, after you talk to him, why don't you come talk to me about uh, another job that I could uh, send you on if you're uh, willing to take his. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll certainly be back by after I talk to him. And then, oh, like, no the tail slowly lifts up the bottle of wine, and I look at it, and I see it's a sweet red. I say, do you have a dry red? A man that doesn't know how to drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, yeah, and she takes the bottle from you and passes you that. Trash. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Rock knows what's up. <laughs> Great. I uh, uncork it there and I, I'll walk over to the dude who's uh, Aragorning in the corner. Are you drinking it from your tail? Like you uncork it and then it's still in your tail and it's just like... <laughs> no, it's absolutely still being held by my tail. Yes! Sweet. Um, yeah, no, let's just allow it to happen. <laughs> That's not game breaking for you to be able to drink things off your tail. Why else have a tail? Yes. It's true. Yet. You can't take potions with your tail. 
<laughs> you lose all your arms. Oh. <laughs> you can't drink a potion using your tail. When I become a stump, except for my <laughs> tail. If you lose your arms, you have bigger problems than drinking. Welcome to the future. <laughs> I plan evil things. No, um, oh. yeah. You make your way uh, to the fellow in the corner. Uh, people at the table, what are you guys up to? I have uncorked it with my mouth and just thrown it back. Whoa. And then I put my arm. The on one it. between the bummies. Yep. <laughs> I need you. <laughs> oh my god. To make a check for that. Um, I don't know yet. Um, I don't have a character sheet in front of me. Um, strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, charisma, performance. Oh. Uh. Yeah, it's gonna be performance check. Fifteen. A fifteen. You do it no problem. And then I'll just kind of like, oh, I'll start to put a beat in front of Frank, and then I'm like, oh. And then I move it over, and then I just kind of set him out. How so could you can, forget to go? It's okay. Uh, Corin drinks his drink like a normal person, <laughs> with his hands in his mouth. That's sad. Nice. Sad. Zara lifts up. Way to be a human. <laughs> Zara lifts up her meat and looks at her boobs, and then thinks again and uncorks it like a normal person. <laughs> If there's a bottle I left... clearly apparently should have had you roll an intimidation check. I'm just kidding. No, no. I was no, like, no, no. I could do it too. No, I couldn't. Well, no, <laughs> if there's a bottle on the table, Frank just wants to hold one. <laughs> just in his hands, you know? Sure. Can it be an old-timey prospector jug with XXX on a peeling label? Yeah. Can it please be that? I don't need fan art of that. Stat. <laughs> Done. She gave you... This, this will help you with carrying it. She gave you a, a, a large jug yeah. of mead and just cups. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Go. It's Boom. a growler. Nice. Oh. Hey, yeah, you're good. So yeah. Frank just holds the jug. <laughs> I'm holding oh, the growler. When he's holding him, I'm like, hey, Frank. Yeah? This tastes really good. Oh, oh I... It's really Fuck dirty. Fuck you, Tabitha. <laughs> it's warm in the belly. If you had a belly, you would know. Why are you being mean to me? <laughs> yeah, How does I... it feel, Frank? What do you mean, Tabitha? <laughs> Our whole time, Frank. I'm just, ch- we're just having a little, you know, little chat. A little, little buddy chip. chat where you're mean to me? It doesn't sound like buddy chat. Yeah, I'm, we're bonding. Yes, well, that was... What is your idea, the idea of bonding? Making fun of my lack of flesh? Yes. <laughs> is it working? Ow! Oh, okay. Sorry. He's still holding it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who'd have thought what destroyed Frank was a visit to the tavern? <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, if we're if we're not, I don't have any plans to do anything until. No the worries, you guys are just enjoying, yeah. enjoying yeah. Yeah. company and. Yeah, I think occasionally actually, bullying, yeah. <laughs> bullying actually, Frank. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. going to chill. Who, who may or may not be sad. Yeah. I, I don't think Corin says anything, but I actually kind of feel bad for that one. <laughs> I was like, I can't yeah. win tonight with her. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, well. You got most everything back to the table. <laughs> it's okay, Tabitha. You're like we... two points away from dropping it all on the floor. Uh, it's and, a wait, tease. It's by the a... way, a 10 made me flop on my face. I see it. <laughs> the comedy, absolutely. The comedy. I dig it. You're in heavy it. armor making a dex check. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. <laughs> it should have probably been a disadvantage. That scans. No, it's not stealth. It's true. It's not stealth. Um, <laughs> anywho, uh, Rourke, you make your way over to this fellow, Aragorning, in the back corner. Great. Um, he remains silent as you approach. Continues to look at uh, Frank. Great. <clears throat> uh, hi there. Miss uh, Marigold over at the bar tells me you're the man to see about a uh, goblin bounty. He slowly like turns back to you. Uh, looking at him now, um, his armor that he's wearing, because uh, he is wearing some form of armor. Mm-hmm. It's almost like cracked plate armor. Like it's like pieces. Uh, yeah. it's, it looks either really old or something that like... If, like, a peasant were to create plate mail mm-hmm. and just, like, stitch, like, pieces together, like, there's, like, one pauldron missing mm-hmm. and, like, mm-hmm. there's just, like, it's very, like, mercenary-esque in appearance. Um, he has a large uh, sword that's like, sits next to him mm-hmm. uh, and the chair um, and just several scars on his face. Like, just a very beat-up, weathered-looking kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Um, as you say that... I guess I'm the man they see about that. Uh, what's the, what's the situation there? All I saw on the board was that there are some goblins that need taken care of. What's uh, where is that? What's going on? A few weeks ago, um, several goblins were being spotted around the southern watchtower of Crestfort. Uh, I was hired to go take a look at it. I was actually going to take care of that bounty myself uh, until I, you know, fell asleep. Um, Shit happens. 
shit happens. Um, he goes on to explain um, how, like, because he's the one that took it, mm-hmm. he is now like responsible as like he's taken that. Mm-hmm. But it was a it was a post created by the guard. He's kind of a dude that helps run the bounties in the in the in the town. Um, okay. uh, it's basically a, a hunting mission. Okay. Um, there were these goblins that were spotted to the south. Uh, looking for them and hunting them down is is basically all you're doing okay. for this. It's been... What you picked up has been hanging for over a week. Mm-hmm. Uh, he let you know that he was going to take care of it himself mm-hmm. um, because no one had taken it. Mm-hmm. Um, and they don't usually let like things like that close to the city sit and wait. Right. Mm-hmm. But... Uh, if you like, if you're interested in taking it, um, I mean, great. Um, so I pull out my map and I say, um, I just kind of go over. So it's it's where it's along the south road here, this the southern watchtower. It is like about um, <coughs> almost a day's travel is where they were spotted. He lets you know that the watchtower is probably about seven hours south of, um, and that's a, at a walk, so you know, a mm-hmm. couple miles, but. Yeah. Um, uh, south of Crestport on the main road. Before it splits off going to Brownwater? Uh, no, 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 no. That's, you still have like, uh, so like, you can move those, those hexes. Uh-huh. It's like three a day mm-hmm. at a normal pace. So like within like your first seven hours, mm-hmm. you're, wow. you're like a third of the way to where the road heads to Brownwater. Okay. Okay. Great. If, if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. trying to like f- sure. f- do the geometry and yeah, math yeah. in my head, and I'm not good at it. Yeah. Okay. Great. No. But um, it's before the road splits. To yes. Okay. Great. Sorry. Great. Uh, well, that's good to know. And it's just uh, hunting them down over near near the southern watchtower on the way down there. Okay. Um, let me uh, talk with my companions there, and we'll see if that's something that we're able to pick up on while we're uh, on our other business. All right. Let me know. And he, like, goes back to just drinking and turns back to Lord Frank. <laughs> Great. Uh, Frank, you feel a sense of accomplishment as this man looks away from you. Um, as you have beaten him in the staring contest you were in with him. <laughs> I kind of, like, give him, like, a little... And then he looks back. <laughs> with your eyebrows? <laughs> Not, and I didn't use my eyebrows, like... He's got moss. A little, little, bit, yeah, a little oh, bit there. A little moss brows? You've yeah, seen the art. He's got moss Oh, that's true. And the soul patch. A little oh, yeah. like Moss that has so many muscles on it. That's a good question. <laughs> Arcane moss. Arcane moss, sure. <laughs> it smells faintly of rotting bacon. So that's <laughs> true. Oh, yeah. Uh, There's so still one all, piece somewhere. Are we all uh, in our uh, one booth? I'm, I'm, going, I'm going back to Marigold to tell her that I talked to him because I want to know what this other thing is. She okay. was... She was uh, Rook heads back to Marigold. Um, I'm assuming people in the bar just still chilling. enjoying and chilling. Chilling. Can I look for any children in the bar? In the bar? Mm-hmm. Go make a perception check. Um, is there a menu like appetizers? Can I get <laughs> some? Uh, She's I don't looking know. for half apps. I don't know. If this is, I don't know. If this is the kind of place for... that has waiters. I got some I bread. It's... No, it's like it's... <laughs> sixteen. Um, you would probably have to go to the bartender for that. Hey guys, I'm gonna. It's not a waiter's place. I have, um, as have Frank a feeling, said. I have a, like, anyone looking for something crunchy or like... Mozzarella some... wands. All right. I have yeah, three oranges. Where did you get those, Frank? I don't know. I just saw them. I, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Three oranges. I don't know how long it was. Oh, this from Abernathy? Yeah. Oh. Was it? No. Oh. He, you took it from brunch. Oh. Yes. That was what oh. you took from brunch, was, I think. Okay, so that means it was oranges. in the chest in as evidence <laughs> in the citadel when we were imprisoned. Yeah. And you picked up the three individual yeah. oranges. Yeah. Mace oranges. While we were trying to run out of there. Along with <laughs> chased by deadly guards. <laughs> It is canon. I have three oranges. Yes. I like to think yeah. I like to think that one of the spears missed because it pierced the orange, 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 not you. So I have two oranges now. No, no, you no, still have three. Pierced, pierced, oh, pierced, oh, pierced, pierced, pierced two oranges. <laughs> orange with a hole in Three it. oranges, Gosh. one pierced. I'm, I'm wondering by this time... Are one the orange is decaying faster yeah, right. than the others. Well, they, like, it's been a few days, Only right? like they're two all, or three, right? Are they oh, moist? But they're inside my moist body. Oh, that's true about my moist body. Yes. not to be crass. Yes? Do you think maybe you could attach them to the penis bone and then it could be like your old 
Scrotums. <laughs> Plural? Scrotum. Scrotum. He, holds, he holds them both in his hand. He's like, Tabitha, I don't know what, how big you think testicles are. <laughs> But these are obviously not them. <laughs> they're, not, I mean, they're not Clementines. It was just no, no, an no. idea. But if it was like attached, never mind. Why are you guys so attached to my penis or lack thereof? Interested by it? Do you feel like I? I don't know if it would just make you feel a bit more powerful to have such girth. He starts to see. He starts just squeezing the oranges in his hand. <laughs> Do you Orange have, begins just running no. everywhere. No. Well, you better. No. You better oh, no. No. Oh, no. 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 I can't use these for my testicles, and he throws them somewhere. Oh, there goes the uh, mimosas. Roll an attack. Two attack rolls, please. We're gonna get oh, another fight. Oh, or um, ten. Tabitha. <laughs> Time bar. Tabitha, as you're having that conversation, yeah. looking around for uh, children, children in the bar, you. You don't make out many, like, any children okay. that are just, like, running around. You see some, some like, smaller races, but okay. you're not racist enough to think that they're children. Okay. Good I, job. I know that I'm <laughs> Yeah, it's a, you don't want to go there. It's like, yeah. oof. Proud of you. 10 4. 10 4. 10 4. I just catch one as I'm walking. <laughs> make a dex check. <laughs> With that second. They're crushed, too. <laughs> It was, uh, <laughs> my moist soggy an butt. An eight? <laughs> um, you managed to catch the one that was a four, mm-hmm. and the one that was a ten hits a guy next to you who looks and sees that you have an orange in your hand. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Wasn't me. And I set the other one down on his table and keep on going to the bar. I definitely see this, right? <laughs> Oh my god, a fight! Well, yeah, because we would have watched him fly. Yeah. Um, as you're walking horses? away, all of you kind of just hear, "Oh, sweet, free oranges!" Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you fail a wisdom check. Oh, <laughs> Pretty bad. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Um, do you people just, just intelligence? Drink? Do you ever just like sit down and like have? He a starts nice eating a Frank orange. Nice well, nice drink. You're we gonna say? Uh, maybe I'm not referring to you. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I exclude me. Why don't you? Look, I didn't mean to. Ref- I didn't. Okay. Right. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I, I don't know. I didn't really eat much in prison, so it's kind of nice. Or drink anything, so living it up. I was yeah. gonna say you currently aren't eating anything. I'm just drinking. Still, are you? I, I'm gonna work on those. Apps. Those. Uh, the oranges would have been nice, but you know, uh, mimosas wasn't right. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go work on some of those apps. Sweet. You start making your way up to the bar, Rourke. You've already made your way there. After putting the orange down, you just are right at the bar. Um. Uh, and you walk up to Marigold. So, Marigold, about this other job that... Uh, oh, one moment, dear. And she, like, slides a cup across the thing to some dude. It's like, oh, um, all right, what now? What are you saying? Uh, this other job you mentioned, I, I talked to a fellow in the corner. I'll, I'll be talking to my uh, folks over there and see if that's something that we can take. But what's this other job that you were... Uh, well, absolutely. Uh, well, if you'd be so inclined, if you're heading that way, um, we haven't had much contact because of the, the week we've been... a. Uh, Passed out up here. Right. Um, I usually send goods down to Brownwater. They don't have a lot of uh, farming down there, so mm-hmm. I'm kind of beginning to get a bit worried about how, how that town's doing. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was going to send a convoy down there, uh, hopefully by tomorrow, the next day, mm-hmm. have it set up. Um, and uh, Balasar over in the corner was going to head it up. Uh, I don't know if he mentioned anything. He doesn't talk much. Balasar, she was pointing to pointing the- to the Aragorn. Aragorn. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I, 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 I think I tuned up for a second. He's all, he was planning on going in a day or so. Uh, she was like saying that day. she was hoping to get this yeah. sent in a day or two. Right, like, got it. And it's Balazar. Balasar. Balasar. Yeah. Balasar. Um, but uh, if you'd be willing to be a bodyguard for it, uh, I'd be willing to pay you. And it's in Brownwater, you say? Yeah, it's just uh, transporting goods to to Brownwater. It might slow you down if you're trying to be fast, but. Uh, so that just might be might on the way to where we're going. Let me get back to you in just a minute. All I'll right, let me know. And I'll go over to the uh, to Can the I get you anything booth. else? Um, I'll just grab another mead, I suppose. I've probably already gone through most of it over there. Hey, you're still drinking that piss. Uh, and she hands you the mead. Like, mead? Thanks for drinking actual shit. Uh, <laughs> I guess not shit, because she's not calling her product shit. <laughs> it's Poor fine, piss, don't worry apparently. about it. Well, just that shit wine he's drinking. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Rourke exclusively drinks dry red wine. <laughs> no, Tabitha exclusively no, no, drinks. No, the only wine that he drinks uh, oh, is I dry see, red. I see. 
Got it. So a like pirate that, that doesn't it. drink rum? He drinks a lot of rum. No, because cano- canonically, I remember some rum. No. That's true. There's yeah. a lot of things. Yeah. Rum, but if you remember the brothel, it was a dry red. Oh, I do recall. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, TBT. You get another mini and she hands it to you. Don't worry, it's on the house tonight, you and your friends. Um, and you... I just give her a little wink. You you do. Oh, yeah. uh, go ahead and make a... Uh... Well, let's see. You don't need to make anything. <laughs> Nice. Uh, you see she gets a little bit red in the face. Um, anything you want, dear? And, uh, oh, and it's a ginger red. Turns back and starts to work and, hey, shut up over there! And, like, just yells at this person that's, like, causing a ruckus. Anywho. <laughs> Zara, you make your way to the bar now, passing yeah. Rourke on the way back. Um, do you now walk up to this lively little dwarf at the bar? Yes! She seems to be in a great mood. Great! <laughs> hey! Oh, what can I do for you? Hi, um, do you have any, like, tasty snacks or maybe anything crunchy, fried, cheesy? What are you in the market for? I mean, the best that you got. <laughs> I, I can, I can go down on some <laughs> snacks. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny, honestly. Oh, it's a sexual joke, listeners. <laughs> it's it's a a sexual sexual joke. Oh my god, I thought that was intentional. <laughs> no, she she looks at you for like just a little bit longer than normal human beings or beings look at things. <laughs> I'll get my cook on it right away. I'm sure you can cook something up that up, please. Yeah. Wait, I'll go. I'm with that really cool gang. Um, <clears throat> some may call us family, but... Oh, I saw um, you walk in together. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for everything you did. Oh, wow. You are so welcome. Thank you for everything you're doing. Well, thank you. You, uh... <laughs> you keep... You keep... <laughs> you just enjoy yourself, dear. <laughs> Thanks. I, I will. Let me know which I room am. you stay I in am. tonight. I have a great day. Okay, bye. Um, bye. Oh my god. Uh, you see her, uh, <laughs> you see her run off into the kitchen. You just hear like some <laughs> like yelling. Um, wow. As she like runs back That's in. Great. Wow. <laughs> I go back to the booth and I'm like, guys, oh, no. I think we're gonna get the best snacks of our lives in a second. Wanting to get snacks for everybody? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, we're a team, man. Yeah. I'm not a snack like dictator, mm-hmm. lord, That's dark good. underling. That's good. I share. I can't eat, but I like the thought. Yeah. I had to track down a snack lord uh, about 20 years ago. Frank, do you think maybe you could have, like, maggots? Why would I have maggots? I'm just thinking with the K, like, maybe you could munch on one. Maggots eat dead flesh. <laughs> yeah, but not the bone. Are you saying you want me to eat something that would eat me in turn? Yeah. Is that how much you hate me, Tabitha? I don't. I, I cannot just, stand Well, it looks this. like the gang's all here. Let's the gang see. is all here. The gang yeah. is all there. It yeah. is an always sunny no, no episode way, no currently. No way. No way. Just yes. a minute. What if? What if? Oh, God. God. Okay. What if we took your skull off oh. and then poured the meat into it and just kind of let it sit there? Oh, if you were like oh, a sort of meat yeah. bath. Okay. Okay. I can go up and ask for a bowl. Just, to, give me just, to, just for the science of it. But please don't drink out of my head, all right? Am I next to We would boot? die. Sure. I mean, maybe. Okay, I'm just I mean, going to grab I'm, it and oh, get that, off. You just took... Okay. Okay, don't move, Frank. Well, since oh. Frank didn't know about it, roll strength oh, check. dang it. <laughs> Frank, make a constitution saving throw. Oh, the sixes. Uh, what did you get? <laughs> <laughs> uh, eight. Seven. A seven. Uh, Tabitha, uh, you gotta, you gotta pull it off, and it's just like a, you know, like you see, like a lot of his body come Frank, just uh, sh- up with it. Release, Frank. Just release. Ask release first. Into- ask first. Frank, release. can I take your head? Yes, and I pull it off myself and hand it. To <laughs> Thank her. you. And I take the meat that Holy I just shot from the bar. Okay, just don't move, Frank. And I just right. and I pour it. <laughs> okay. Is is the guy that that's been Aragorning staring at me <laughs> watching this? <laughs> uh, well. You can make a perception <laughs> check at disadvantage because okay. you're upside down and being passed around. <laughs> uh, Tabitha's uh, just holding six. it like, in the middle. A, a six? six yeah. you, uh, just a flat six? Yeah. Um, you're you're currently like looking towards outside, yeah. the people's, like <laughs> your booth. Mm. You can't really see them right now. Okay. Um, can I make a perception if anyone else is like like 
attention of bars towards us. Go ahead and make a perception. Are his eyes towards me or away from me? Uh, currently, right now. Oh. He's looking at you upside down. So there's meat in my skull right now. Right, yeah. right, right, right. I think may- maybe, if anything, we just need to like, let it soak. Yeah, let's just let yeah, it I'm soak, let it see soak. if we can okay. taste it. So, okay. well, let's uh, let's do some talking while we wait. You notice when Frank's skull gets popped off, there's okay. there's an audible like it. shift a and little go, bit. This is how we party <laughs> up in here. You do. Make a performance check. <laughs> God, Frank. I say, Tabitha, just make sure that it doesn't come out of any of the holes. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yes. Yes, Tabitha? Are you looking at my tits? I got a 19. A 19? Yeah. Why would you say it that, It livens Tabitha? up again. Just boom. This is how I fall. Well, your eyes are kind of right at me. Should I lift you up? I don't have up? eyes. Oh, I will. I You're just making know. assumptions at this point, Tabitha. <coughs> I, I mean, they're it's... pretty popular now. Your boobs? Yeah. All good for you. <laughs> well, <laughs> what'd you find out? Uh, he says to Rourke. I'm right, just holding it. I guess I'm just holding it. Right okay. Do you taste anything? You can put it down the table if you want. No, I'll leave it. You taste anything, Frank? Do you think it's going to water down? It's got a hint of, like, caramel to it. Caramel. I, like... mm, I don't remember caramel. Oh. But I'm sure you it's don't. Some... Re- you never Frank, had it? make or... a constitution saving throw. I don't know. Was this a mistake? Uh, what are we at? Um, where's const? Oh yeah, I have a plus five for my constitution. Dear God, like, yeah, fifteen. Uh, beef wizard, fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel anything right now? Okay, uh, oh, you got yeah. your hands and make me nervous. I know. I- <laughs> um, well, while he marinates, uh, yes. <laughs> All right, so I, I pull out my map. And put oh. it on the table. Oh, uh, Corin definitely takes a sketch of it. Mm-hmm. Like if, uh, I guess, <laughs> underneath the face. following. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I uh, I pull out the map, um, and I say, all right, so what we've got here she just goes. is... Yes? She does what, Brooke? <laughs> Tabitha makes Frank's face motorboat hair. <laughs> Upside down. Upside down. Yeah. <laughs> what are you pointing at, Rock? Holy! That is a character choice that was made. <laughs> Mother of God. <laughs> Geeky. All right. So to the southeast here, we've got Olinto, and then pretty much directly south is Emberstone. Right. Yes. Uh, talking with Marigold and uh, Balazar over there in the corner, uh, I found that there's, there's a couple. Who? Of, uh, the guy over there in the. Oh, Aragorn. Um, oh, the guy that's been staring <laughs> at yeah, us. Yeah, you know that. <laughs> it tickles her a little Wait, bit. Wait, what? Right? That, that, that guy that's been staring at me like this whole entire Frank, time. Frank, it's hot. Okay. 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 Jesus Christ, Jesus. Don't, don't tell Anton Christ. <laughs> Did you say that for Much real? Of you I think my tri- character. I, I think it was out of character. Okay, no, cool. I don't think Corin. I don't think Corin's that perceptive. How much have you had to drink, Tabitha? Jesus. Just two bottles and a half. We're fine. Wow. What? <laughs> Make a Constitution saving throw. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tabitha, Let's see you, this. Tabitha, you just see how you handle it when Colt Booth drinks <laughs> a fifty percent of a bottle of whiskey. Well. <laughs> What are you supposed to do? <laughs> Who knows? You die, Colt. No. Well, you don't die. Tabitha, you're an alcoholic. <laughs> 12? <laughs> Tabitha, you are pretty wrecked right now. Great. Whoa. Uh, I, Corin has been drinking normally. I just want to say. You're good. <laughs> Can someone in the fantasy world Take my occasionally be exceptional? It. Yes, let's. Okay, so. Well, th- sorry. The, to call class into session. All, all right, so Emberstone, directly yeah. south, about the same distance as. Old Lento is to the southeast, you said? Or? Correct, yeah. It's going to be about the same, by the way. Old Lento's more to the southeast. Uh, right. Talking with Marigold and uh, and uh, Angst Boy over there, um, I found out that there are some things along the way that we could also take care of since we're not, you know, if it's on the way, like there's some goblins that we could take care of that have been given some trouble along the uh, Southern Watchtower. Uh, as well as a delivery that's being made to Brown, that needs to be made to Brownwater, which would be on the way to Emberstone. Oh, I don't feel like aim is necessary. What I mean, <laughs> I look. I so it seems like these are all things that need to be done. But like, I mean, whether we go by land or by sea, it's. I mean, I, I know an attack isn't especially like looming, but I would think that uh Taking our time maybe not be wise. Well, that's why it's it's stuff that's actually on the way, like along the road as we go down. So as we're going, 
kill a few goblins, drop some supplies off at some other people, make sure that there's still a point of contact between Crestport and Brownwater, because they haven't heard from him in a week. Wait, what? shit, really? Yeah. Here's okay, what I say. Um, we get to the place, kill some people, come back, goblin bitch. Gob- well, sorry? Goblin bitch? Goblins or bitches, I think is what she was going yes, for. Yes. Um, I mean, I've met a couple okay ones, but sure. Yeah, so we okay. go. That's not true. Is people? it not canon? It's not no, canon. Kidding. Kidding. <laughs> I was thinking it. My, my partner on the, on the hard streets was a goblin. <laughs> There's a hard goblin. That's different. Look, I have all this backstory. Vigilante. I'm not, you're a vigilante cop. We go. We kill some peeps. Goblins. We come back. I don't. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. I, I think the first decision, what we got to make as a group, I would say, is... See your land, because I've been having my doubts. We've been going back and forth about this. I, you know, not only yeah. because it's in my name, you know, gives a shit about that, but, you know, <laughs> leaving a boat and then going over, over land, I thought we would be able to get farther to Old Lento. But, yeah. uh, I, say, yeah. not. I say we hawk. We hawk? Huh? Sorry? Hawk. Okay. Say um, we hawk. She thinks we go I, by I, land. I, yeah. I thought she said we got a dog. No, mm-hmm. they don't see any dogs here. Darn it. I'm, all, so. I'm also my head, my face is buried in her breasts. <laughs> so if we Frank, didn't, even if there was a dog, I make see a Constitution it. saving throw. Uh, oh, oh, give me a low one. Give me a low one. Nineteen. Be ah, Nineteen. Just don't feel anything. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Can somebody I, please take my head out of this woman's breast? Tabitha's going to lean down with her tongue and just try to, like, start making out with Frank's teeth. Oh, okay. I Corin is actually, at this point, going to gently interpose and try to get Frank and sort of lean him up against a place where the mead doesn't... Do you okay. want me to roll for that? Like, uh, Well, Tabitha, really? are you going to try and resist having Frank's skull taken from you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Make a... You, you might get sick, is all I'm saying. And I'm just going to try to, like, gently... Um. Yeah. It's, oh, you all right? So hand it over. Okay, you just <laughs> hand it over. <laughs> hey Frank, I'm gonna sit you down so you don't fall. Okay. And then she's all right, just all right, like, thank you, Rort. After it's gone, oh. Tabitha's just gonna. <laughs> oh, God damn it! And then throw Corrin. up on her bubbies, but she's good now. Uh-huh. You, you do. Wait, no more throw up. Because <laughs> oh, you no. know what happens. Oh no. Zara. Oh. <laughs> you instantly. God. Almighty. Welcome back to hell, well, everybody. Mm, <laughs> Constitution saving throws. Okay, okay. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. That that's, not, that's not very good. Uh, the table, like, it's across the table. As, um... Okay, I want to make sure... Tabitha just... on the same side of the table. <laughs> <laughs> Corin, you don't get vomit on Thank you. Thank you. Yes! Tabitha vomits just down I the front, just and you just walk across. Go- yeah. <laughs> Frank's, <laughs> Frank's body gets... <laughs> What is this obsession we have with the bodily function? Uh, right at that point, though, um, uh, a big, uh, burly kind of half orc dude walks up and is like, "Hey, I brought this for you." I stand up and hands like has like pretzels and looks very, very Soft perturbed. Pretzels? Oh god! Oh god! Very similar to the ones you had in uh, Dagger Point. Oh I stand god, up and go, "Pop up!" Oh. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, I'll just uh, get it with the other hand. I guess. He he hands it to you, uh, and, and you know what? There's some like melted cheese on there. Yes. Well, these look yes. delicious. Hey, thank you, and uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, tell your, your your boss lady we said thank you again. Appreciate it. Will do. And right. He turns and like walks put it down away. on the table. I'm like, please, oh, for the love of God, I'm old. I worked all day. I need to go to sleep at some point. I I I, I really need some focus just for okay. a minute. Okay. 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 Yes. Can Let's I? Just... Are there t- shoes? Are there shoes here? Tissues. Tissues? No. What's or a like tissue? A napkin. What's a napkin? Like a cloth. Oh, I know. I know what that is. Do you have a cloth? No. I my head's. Are, I can't even. Anybody got a cloth? Frank, you can still move your body. Is there a napkin dispenser? <laughs> can like the bartender? <laughs> <coughs> oh, can we please, please? The guy who gave us the pretzels does he have, have like a rag or anything? Yeah. Hey, dude. Dude, do you have like a dish Turns towel? Turns around and like thumps and. Uh, Mary Gold! Uh, and you see her just. What is it? I don't know why she's got me. Shit! Uh, she like pulls up the bar and like, or runs over and is like, oh dear. Um, 
I'll, t- I'll take care of it. Don't worry, everyone. And, and like, runs back and comes back with a bunch of rags and just, like, kind of throws them on the table. And is like, thank Great, you. thank you. All right, moving on, please. Sorry. You guys uh, deal Thanks. with that. And, uh, Clean my bones. Come on, you lug. And they walk off and Sorry. he goes back Clean into the bones? kitchen. I was Fuck. feeling like a champion. It's um, okay. Now I don't. So was I. He's probably that's licking the life. skull. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was probably that more than I'll take one and start. Sorry, Frank. You, I'm you swiping do. the vomit off. Great. Okay. You do. It's not a lot. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> so, so here's the thing. What were we talking about? We're talking about going by sea or by land. I think that while we initially thought that it was a good idea, we also didn't know how much time it would actually save us. It's In the long hard. run, I don't think it's going to be enough to make a difference, especially when it's not our ship. Yeah. Yeah. And I, if anything happens to the ship, we get like a lot of money. We have to pay it and we don't oh, have money. Yeah. And then we, we'd have to be on the run and oh. we'd run away. Oh. And I don't know about that. Well... <laughs> Uh, it would it would be me that owes it. I none of your guys' name is on that. Oh, that's right. Oh, I'm, that, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm that changes things. Okay. Well, I don't think it actually does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Working with the crew. Working with the crew. Yeah, yeah. Right. Team, team, right. team, team. So team. I, you know, I, I got I just, my. I just look at. I like just where Frank's upside down skull is. I just give him a little thumbs up for that. <laughs> yeah. But so, it looks like a thumbs looks down. looks like a thumbs down. Uh, he knows uh, directions. I'm sure he knows he does. Sure he does. Frank's We're just, saying it looks like a thumb down. This is headless skeleton just kind of like way too high a thumbs up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In the booth, Frank's skeletal body just sends up an outstretched straight up thumbs up. Uh, yeah, you know, I got doubts too. Down. Fuck the sea. I don't want to sink. You know, let's... Also, if there, could was, be monsters. if there was an emergency here and we were stuck in the middle of the ocean, I would want to get back here and not be stuck on the ocean. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So, land. I, I and rogue waves. I mean, yeah. rogue waves. Dangerous. <laughs> what? Rogue waves. What's that? <laughs> They're big old waves. They can get crush ships. Oh. Yeah. If you're out on the waters and there's a big old wave, yeah, you never that, see it coming. That shit sounds bad. Hey, yeah, and you know, Rourke, you ever seen a rogue wave? Oh, yeah. You seen a Kraken? No, I've never done crack. <laughs> that shit isn't real, is it? Yeah. Oh, Whoa. Yes, sir. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're agreed? We're agreed. Krakens what? are real. Sorry to agree. Yeah, Krakens are definitely real. <laughs> what? No. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, I'm good. This whole time I'm eating pretzels just agreeing. Okay. Just destroying pretzels. Just going. So I get at least one before they're gone. No, yeah. So wait, are we going to Emerald City or um, oh. or old or, or old lentils? <laughs> we're on the road to Meridian City. Yeah, wait. So okay, hold on, Rourke. So it's it's if we're walking, it's Emberstone because it's faster. Is that what you said? Emberstone. If we go to Emberstone on the way, we can drop on these supplies. I mean, they have a cart that we can take to take supplies to Brownwater on the way to Emberstone. Wait, how about, what? How about Broody McDreamy? Is he coming with? At least to Brownwater, he'd well, probably come back. Broody after that. McDreamy. I'm good with this plan. Are you? I don't want yeah, to do Wait, wait. What brownstone? What are you talking about? Brown water is on the way to Emberstone. It's where okay. the, they're trying to get some supplies dropped off there because they haven't had any contact with them for a week since everybody here has been asleep. Yeah. Okay, so why? <coughs> so we drop it off on, if we went to Emberstone, we would drop it off on the way because it's on the way. Right. But and dropping get, it off, right? I don't want to do someone's errand. No, we might get paid. We're dro- Are we getting paid? I mean, we get well, paid. I think the I point is yeah. that they might be in danger. And, uh, also, you know, that also they yeah, might be in yeah, danger. Of course, of course, de- uh, dying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's save people. Keep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's important. exactly what we should do. Yeah. I mean, as long as long as we're not spending too much time, because like. I mean, we'll probably need to stop for the night there anyway because it's a long trip, and so it makes sense we okay. stop. Somewhere. Right, that's I, a good point. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Okay, right. just, it's yeah, a hop and right. a skip and a trip. It's just it. a hop, a skip, and a trip, and then we've got this. Uh, once we hit Emberstone, we can go through this path through the lead, the red slopes here, and it takes us right to Oglinto. It's cool. it's easy. Okay. I'm into it, looping it, doing it. I think cool. I missed that part, but now I'm I'm up. into it as much as I'm into these pretzels. And I think we mm. have two rooms, so oh good, boys, oh, good girls. Woo. Oh. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm a, I'm a male. Okay, don't didn't give me that look. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't say anything. Don't give me that He's look. Like, okay, well. You sure about that, Maria? <laughs> oh God, no, I'm pretty fucking sure. Okay, <laughs> Maria. I might not remember a lot of things, but I definitely remember having a penis. All right. You still have the bone too. You could have had bones. It's a rib bone. Okay. Penises don't have bones. Oh. Uh, Wait, no. is the, is oh. the penis bone currently in the penis place, or is it a rib right now? The penis bone is a rib, right? 
<laughs> no, 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 like, is, is it, it in, the in rib position place right as now, the penis or is it in the penis place? Is it he, I don't remember. I don't remember the last time we put myself I think back it's together. In the penis. It's going to be a paradox if we don't get this right canonically. Yeah. Think very hard. No, I, I think, think it's in the penis. It's in the it's penis. penis. I believe it's in the ribs. I think so too. Because I believe Frank put it back. Oh, he wants to keep it there just for now. He doesn't want a penis bone right now. All right. Just making such a big fucking deal about it. So, this has been the liveliest night out I have had in probably 42 years or so. Yeah, me too. Here, here. Yeah. In like 26. So um, there. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it for me. Unless there's anything else you guys want to chat about, I'm gonna go. I, I got some errands I gotta run, and then I'll see you bright and early. Hey, errands? Uh, I just gotta go leave a note for that guy saying I'm not gonna pay for his fucking ship. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I believe Tom yeah. Tom tell him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Anton. Yeah, oh, cool. Yeah. Then that case, I'm probably going to bed. Wait. Uh, yeah. take yeah. Are you sure you're good? Cause you're like, <coughs> we're drunk and threw up, and it like. Oh wait, no problem. I and I lay it. on hands, Tabitha, for five Aww, points, removing nice. all poison from her system. Thank you, Tabitha. You s- sober up. Paladins rock. <laughs> Paladins, <laughs> the party class. Was that oh what God. drunk was? What? Was that drunk? What does alcohol is a poison? Oh. Yeah. I didn't know he threw up and stuff. That was kind of bad. Hmm. Whoa. Wait, what? what? Have you never drunk you've before? you never had a drink? You, no, I've had, had drink? drinks, but I don't think I've ever been drunk. That oh. drunk? Well, you did yeah. have two I bottles see, of wine. I spent yeah. that time at Dagger Point. It was like, oh, where's me? But then it was all yeah. subterfuge and intrigue after that. Mm. Oh. Just faking it. Wow. Well, huh. now hmm. you know moderation, you know. right? Yeah. Because yeah. I only yeah. have so many... <laughs> Hands. Yeah. Yeah. It's Papa so Corrin. I mean, I'm, I'm just you getting this used kid. to eight bottles of water a day. So. Sure, right. Moderation, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's, that's the key. Yeah. I think that's actually a little... That's... Corin. that's sad. And he's like, oh, like, shit. To what? I don't know. Like, it, the idea of being deprived, I don't think it had hit him. Oh, yeah. That... You know, it's you've been the, in jail. When it comes for, to alcohol, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like most. <laughs> That's when it gets sad. No, it's like, oh, well, you can't have alcohol. Well, speaking oh. from Joe's soul, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so if you could tell Anton, you know, and also that Lorana, we don't need those three, you know, uh, oh, sailor boys. Sailor boys. We said, see you later, boys. Yeah. Got it. Okay. I'll, yeah. I'll go. Uh, you know what? I'll just write out a little thing. Lorana, we don't need boys. Uh, boat boy, <laughs> we don't need boat boy. Boat, boat boy, boat yeah, boy. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. And I take them. You should also say we don't need women, because I don't think we need those either. And Wait, we don't need the boat said, people. We don't need boat people in general. She oh, might I think, just think we just don't want boys. Oh, I think Lorana said specifically guys. I wasn't trying to be. Uh, so, right, I know I'm, I know I'm kind of like old and trusty, but right. guys. Oh, that's absolutely. True. My bad. I'll do, I'll try to do better. I'm I'm excited to learn from this experience, <laughs> and I'll try not to gender the people I haven't heard. <laughs> <laughs> to, learn, to learn from all these young kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually non-binary. I'm an intersectionalist. <laughs> You're going to yeah. Yeah. Frank's okay. non-binary, everybody. Tabitha gets up and it's like, well, I feel kind of good, but I'm going to go to bed. Right. Oh, okay. Good for you. Hey, Frank, are you, do you feel anything? Um, Do I feel anything, God? <laughs> yeah. I like to think Frank said that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God, please. please. God, please. God, Roll a constitution saving throw. Baby, baby. Uh, what? That's way too high. Ah, damn not, shit. Move on. 23. Ah, Someday. 23. Uh, that means you got shitty rolls don't, on the way. Hey, don't worry, buddy. I'll just leave you like this upstairs and, you know. Can you just put my head back on my oh, body? Yeah, I pour it out off to the side surreptitiously and put it on his body. Oh, okay. this doesn't seem to be working. I'm going to put so a I'm, mug under that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, was it working? What? You're not going to drink it. No, oh, just to like oh, just oh, okay. spill it all ew, over the place. Ew, ew. Uh, I guess it would be out of character for Corey to just make a fucking unnecessary mess. Anyway. Anywho, oh. uh, Frank, uh. your head is back to your body. Hey, Frank. Oh, yeah? Nice. Sorry I teased you about, you know, the drinking thing. Oh, it's okay. Bit me in the ass anyway, so. Well, you were drunk, you know. But, you know, the most honest things come out in people when they're drunk. <laughs> so. And vino veritas. <laughs> what? Are you talking about the motorboat? I don't speak. The what? Um, what? Yeah. Uh, infernal. Oh. oh. <laughs> Can Latin be infernal? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Sorry, God. We're just okay. going on a tangent. All right. Here, okay. Good night. Good night. <laughs> good night. Good night. Uh, night, everybody. See you in the morning. So night, Corrin's Ruby. heading See off there. to the room that is designated the boys' room. Yeah. The uh, boys' room. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> boys night. That's for two of you, <laughs> listeners. Who, who else is doing what? Um, I'm just going to... Oh, wait. I'm um, going to speak to like Marigold and You're going to go speak to Marigold and Balasar. I want to sleep, but I don't know if they want me on the bed, because I'm a wet boy. 
Oh, I'm going up there, uh, and if there's a bed or something. Oh, wait, how would that work? All right, we'll figure it out. Sorry. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, Frank, you meditate, so you don't technically have to, like, lay down. Yeah, but... If you want to. He be wants dick. to sleep. He wants to be on the bed for no other reason than just to be on the bed. Okay. Um, so are you heading up to the room I'm after corn? I'm to the room, yeah. Okay, when you get up there, there are two beds in the room. Do you want the one on the right or the one on the left, corn? <laughs> I thought we could push them together, Maria. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? I always thought about it, but no. And then he takes, <laughs> he takes, one of the, he takes the bed on the left. Yeah, okay, uh, Cor- Corin is going to take the one on the right, but he's going to take the pillows and like an extra blanket or something, throw it off to the side for uh, Rourke, and then de-armor and lay down. Okay. Oh. Um, Zara, what are you up to? I want to go to Balazar. Okay, we'll get there in a sec. So does he. Tabitha, what do you got? Hmm? What are you doing? Oh, um, I'm going to go upstairs, get in my fetal position, and I'm rolling under the bed. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> under the bed? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, you make your way upstairs, um, get in the fetal position, and roll under the bed. Um, <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> Zara and, and, and Roar. Um, Number one, where is the pretzels situation? Am I halfway through? Am I through it all? Take them up to Let's bed. just say as a group, you guys have probably finished. All right, them. then I just or there's like nurse, maybe one like more. One, yeah, for like this, the rest of this entire time. Sweet, I'm you're nursing <laughs> one pretzel and some sort of cup of cheese yeah, that you exactly. make him work, uh, and you're heading over to Balasar. Yeah, and I want to have the cheese and like just dip in and just like so. You're the Balas Balasar, huh? Yes. And then I want to take a big old bite of the pretzel and be like, look, buddy. <laughs> we might be working together here. I just need to know that you're cool. Okay? <laughs> you see him get like a really big smile across his face. Um, very much breaking this this facade or whatever that he's been wearing most of this time. Oh, the cool guy mask. Okay. Don't worry. You reminded me of a friend of mine. Oh. And he goes back to kind of drinking. And I just, if there, is there a seat next to him? Sure. Okay, okay, okay. You seem cool. I sit down and I say, just, I'm just saying it. Because if you mess, and I want to get real close to us, okay? If you, if you, dear God, mess with any of those people you just saw in that booth, I will come on like a bat out of hell. Okay? Don't you dare try anything or so help me, so help me, you're gonna look like this pretzel, and I take a big old crunch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Joe. Go ahead and make an intimidation check. For the yeah, listeners, I'm gonna get an Oreo as well. Ash was very, very slowly <laughs> reaching for an Oreo during that whole bit. I was trying to time it out. But that I wanted great. an Oreo. What can I? Oh, Oreos. that Sponsors. was great. Oh, this is okay. very good. This is yeah. very good. This is four. <laughs> oh, it's like golf. You know, yeah. the score of the bat. Yeah. Yeah, it's just cute. That smile does not go away on his face. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. Cool. And then I get up and say, You seem cool. While we're working together. He lifts a, a mug up to you as you kind of are making your way away from him. Cool. And what do you do? I would to? like to walk to Rourke now. Okay. As you're doing that. Rourke, you're at the bar with Marigold. So, uh, Miss Marigold, sorry about the uh, puke thing (laughs) over there. Uh, I feel like it usually happens when Anton sends somebody with one of those pieces of paper. (laughs) Everybody just drinks and drinks. It was not an alcohol thing as much of uh, she kind of tongued the the skull thing. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because she was... So it was kind of an alcohol thing, but kind of a she realized what she did and puked thing, and then uh, and then Zara puked a lot because she puked, and then it just kind of was a thing. Oh, anyway. Hey, strange company, friend. You're not if you ever want a job, you can just uh, hang here. <laughs> Good to know, Miss Marigold. Um... So we will uh, we will take that convoy to Brownwater because uh, we've decided that we're going to be uh, on our way down to Emberstone in the morning. So, oh, excellent! Uh, so we can take Balazar and the uh, and the cart and do that on our way as we Wonderful. go. Wonderful! He's a good one, that Balazar. You stay with him. He'll take care of all of you. 
He seems all right. Should I speak with him about that, or should we uh, get any of that sorted out? Well, I'm sure you can meet with him. When were you thinking about leaving? Well, we need to leave tomorrow morning for our business for Anton. Tomorrow morning, you say? For, solely because of our business for Anton. Yes, ma'am. Don't you worry. What time? Tomorrow morning. Uh, I know we'll be getting gearing up to head out about sunrise is when we'll be getting everybody up. So very soon after. Sunrise, you say? We can give you an hour or two if you need. To, to Looks like you. I'm working through the night. Oh. All right. Uh, and she, like... She kind of gives like a loud bars closed to everyone. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's uh, closing time. We're ringing it. Last bells. Uh, last drinks, everyone. Um, and passes out a few last things and sends people out into the streets because, you know, it's illegal. Um, <laughs> Marigold fucking rules. Yeah, Marigold she's awesome. likes to party. Um, Marigold's tight. I want to think that this is like 9 p.m. <laughs> no, it's 6 Get out of here. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not that late. <laughs> it was sunset when you guys went in there. Corin's all about the early bird special. It's, it's fine. I mean, some people are kind of disappointed, but, like, most people It's been just, a week. It's of, been a week. Like, <laughs> most people are already drunk at this point at yeah. nine. So, like, yeah. or have worked a long day right. and got drunk pretty quick. Yeah. Um, so the bar begins to kind of clear out, and she's like, no worries, um, and I'll just uh, take care of all of that and have it ready for you in the morning. Excellent. I'll go speak to Anton and let him know that we're all on the same page and everything. We'll get we'll get it ready to go. If you need any help, I'll certainly uh, help you out some before I head up to bed for the night. Oh, you don't you worry. I got the log to help me out with that. All right. Thank um, you, Miss Mary Gold. Thank you. And Stop I, winking at me there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, and I start heading out, and I just kind of point and look at uh, uh, Zara. Zara arrives before you. Oh, okay. Headed off yet? Yeah. I just kind of am like, I, I kind of like, mm, hold on, I like tap your shoulder and I go, dude checks out, he'll be okay, I checked him out, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Give him an ocular pat down? Yeah, yeah, we're good, he's he's clear. Nice. I, I, I did the once over, you know, like he passes the background checks, he's cool to hang. And then I just say, night, cool and then fuck up. Thanks, Zara. <laughs> Zara, make a nice persuasion check. <laughs> put the fear of God in him. I put the yeah. fear of God in him. <laughs> He's cool to hang us. I was like, yeah, he's cool enough to come with us to Arby's. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Brown water is not Arby's. I actually Absolutely. got a 19 with that. A 19? Mm-hmm. Rourke, go ahead and make an insight check. Oh, an man. Insight check. Yeah. Uh, not a 19. She checked. Me. She, she took care of that whole thing pretty, pretty damn well. <coughs> and she put the fear of God in that guy. He's probably scared of her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Zara. Anytime. See you in the morning. Anytime. Night, John boy. Uh, <coughs> um, Zara, where are you off to? I'm, I'm up to bed. Okay, so you head up to bed. You uh, open Come the door on. to the room. Um, there's two beds. Roll a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> Let the bodies oh at the floor. Gosh. Let the bodies at um, the floor. <laughs> ten. <laughs> fifty, fifty. There's, there's two empty beds. What about the passive? It's not for this. Not for um, this. Okay, I have no idea what that's actually uh, for. Took spent a bunch of time trying to figure I that go, out. Huh? She must have gone to see Anton, and I sleep. I choose the left bed. Which bed did you uh, crawl under? The right. No, uh, I have to wait. Hold on. Yeah, the right. Okay, sweet. You uh, head over to the left bed and and lay down. Um, and go sleep. No, I actually go to my knees. <laughs> and I attempt to pray, but it's a little like in a cheese haze. Okay. <laughs> a cheese, from all the cheese that you've been eating? Yeah, from all that cheese. Ah, yeah. It's that a little carby cheese. and It's cheesy. beer cheese. Oh, beans, um, of course. But but then then I'll go to bed, so like, maybe like five okay. minutes, but it's just more frustration and attempting. But okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and make a religion check. Okay. <laughs> um... That's a nine. Okay, you do. Okay, cool. And then you head to bed. Um, everyone <coughs> in their respective beds, Rourke heading off to Lord. Anton. Mm-hmm. That's where we'll um, leave it. Hello, sweet friends. This is Jonah hopping in while Andrew's out of town to say thank you for listening to The Quest Company. 
If you enjoy our podcast, please be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, etc. It's a great way to let us know how we're doing and really helps us as we move forward. We just dropped episode two of our side quest, New Ridge, uh, here in the same podcast feed, so please give that a listen if you haven't already and let us know what you think. We've also got another special something we're planning on recording soon, and you can find out more about that by listening to the latest episode of New Ridge. If you'd like to contact us, as always, you can go to the Connect page of our website, questcompanypodcast.com, which has a form for contacting us directly, as well as links to our various social media accounts. While you're there, be sure to check out our official artwork done by Dakota Collins, and you can find more of his artwork on Instagram, at alchemicaldragon, or you can check out his website, datcollins.wordpress.com. We've had some more listeners do some wonderful fan art for us. We'd love to thank Alice for continuing to send us drawings of the gang, as well as new listener Megan, who recently sent us an awesome piece. You can see their art featured on the fan art page of our website, as well as on our Instagram, where we have links to their various accounts. It, Guys, it's such cool art. It's such very, very, very cool art, and we are so thankful to have fans that are inspired by the show and want to share that with us. It's it's just wonderful. If you have fan art of the podcast and would like to share it, uh, just make sure to tag us in your Instagram post or your tweets with at the Quest Company or hashtag the Quest Company because we want to see it so bad. Uh, we love seeing your art and we love sharing it with all the rest of our listeners. So again, uh, thank you so much for listening and be sure to join us next week for another episode of the Quest Company. Thank you.